Larian and Rudy are raising a family. This is how life should be. This is their story. Hey guys, what's going on? It's your girl RJ here. I'm in the car and I'm on my way to the doctor. I usually do these vlogs on the Mama Large channel, but to be honest, I don't feel like it. I'm just gonna vlog the whole day for you guys because I've been a bad vlogger lately. Lately. So, obviously, since I'm driving, I'm gonna read the scripture of the day to you later. They are supposed to do a growth scan on baby T2 to see how much he weighs. My guess is that he weighs six and a half pounds. I just have a feeling. And then after the growth scan, I'm supposed to have like a regular checkup with my doctor and that's it. I'm 38 weeks and two days. Um, and I don't know, these appointments are rather bleh. <laughs> so I, I, I might go get myself some Starbucks or something afterwards just to, you know, just to make up for lack of fun in my life. Yeah. Today's scripture of the day comes to us from James chapter 1, verses 2 to 3. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Amen. Okay, so apparently baby T2 weighs 7 pounds 7 ounces so far, and he has really fat cheeks. I was way off. <laughs> He's got me huge. Oh lord. All right guys, so after seeing my doctor, I feel like crying. I'm just, I'm sitting here and tears are like coming into my eyes because it's not that I got bad news, but I got like nerve wracking, scary news that I didn't want to hear. Uh, they want me to do the scheduled C-section on the 13th, which is next week, Tuesday. But um, I don't want a second C-section. Like that is the worst thing that, <laughs> Like, you know, like that's the absolute worst that could happen to me. I wanted my water to break. I wanted to feel contractions from home. I wanted to have to call the hospital and go in. I didn't want to schedule a C-section because that's another induction. And my induction thing was so traumatizing that I cannot, I can't imagine experiencing that again on purpose, you know? So I just want to cry because I'm so sad. He says that I should do it because otherwise I'll have a... Uh, I'll talk to you guys later when I'm not driving. Alright guys, so I spilled my guts on the Mama Large channel. So if you want to hear me talk more in detail about what I experienced today, you gotta go check out the video. <laughs> so I'm in the kitchen now and I'm making myself some pancakes. I'm trying to find something to eat. Jaden is super hyper and it's 12.30 right now. I don't know what's going on with him. But he's upstairs, he's watching his meet the letters while I try to get some lunch in. I feel like I'm gonna be tired by like 1.30 or 2. But I can't sleep when I'm hungry. So I have to make myself my pancakes and maybe I'll make some toast. I don't know, that's a lot of carbs. Not that it matters, I'm pregnant, I can eat as many carbs as I want, no I'm kidding. But um, you know, I'm still feeling really sad about the whole C-section thing. I spoke to Rudy's mother about it, she said that I should wait, but the more I spoke to her, the more I realized that I probably shouldn't wait, because the longer I wait, the bigger this baby gets, the bigger he gets, the more likely it is that I'll have to have a C-section anyway because Jaden got stuck in the birth canal and he was only eight pounds, three ounces. So if I wait all the way until the 23rd to be induced, this baby's gonna be close to nine pounds, most likely. And you know, it's just, there's a lot to think about and it's, it's, it's kind of stressing me out. So I'm gonna eat these pancakes. I hope that that releases some kind of dopamine in my brain, makes me feel happy. <laughs> I'll go upstairs and crochet, watch YouTube, get some more dopamine and oxytocin released in the brain. And um, I gotta figure out my life, guys. Like, this is real life. And this is the toughest decision that I've had to make in a long time and I'm not happy about it. But you know what? Let me show you what my bump looks like because you haven't seen it in a while. 
This is it. This my bump. This is my big old bump. This is my big old bump. And he's sleeping now. That's why it looks so extra pointy. Notice my back fat, so cute. <laughs> um, I think this is his butt and his head is here. His legs are on this side and you know, boom. La di da da. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, Nina and I just woke up from a nap. At first I couldn't fall asleep because my heart was racing. It was racing really hard. Hi Jaden. Hello. How are you? All right. But then I have I eventually yeah. fell asleep. Yeah? Mm-hmm. So I slept for like an hour. Jaden slept for almost two and a half hours. It was good, so now I'm going to feed him his lunch. I was supposed to do a portrait today of myself. He was supposed to take a special portrait of me today, but honestly, I don't think I'm up for it. Like, with everything going on and my mind just like acting crazy. Yeah, Jaden. I don't think I'm going to do it. Because I need to go to the hair salon and get my hair done. <sighs> so, I don't know. It makes me sad. I was really looking forward to doing this portrait, but honestly, I, I feel like maybe I should just do it like next week, Monday or something, or Saturday, but just not today. Okay guys, so Rudy is home. He took Jaden off my hands. Jaden and I were watching the Wendy Williams show, and then we were watching the reel, but Jaden, I don't know, he really enjoyed his lunch and he was so excited that I couldn't even hear anything they were saying on the reel. And I was just like, all right, Let's go. So now I'm editing a vlog. Jaden's playing the keyboard with his father. Yeah. I'm just taking it easy. Rudy and I talked about the whole C-section thing and oh, we just have so much to think about, guys. There's a lot to think about. And if we decide to do the C-section, then guess what? I'm gonna have a baby next week, Tuesday. That's crazy. Uh, Somebody's on the phone, Jaden? Yeah. Uh, Mm -hmm. This is going to be our new room, guys, but obviously you can see it's still in the process of being cleaned. Mr. Rudy's over here playing the keyboard, and Jaden's over there playing with the keyboard. <laughs> yeah. Who's, who's there, Jaden? Mm -hmm. All right guys, so I'm here to close off the vlog and let you know what happened after Jaden played in our new bedroom <laughs> New bedroom that sounds so weird. All right, so I was feeling really down in the dumps, okay? Like the whole c-section thing. It's just I Don't know like I feel like I'm being Probably a little bit more dramatic than I should be but it's it's a really serious decision so I hope that you guys understand why I am taking it so seriously because you know like that's it's it's just a really really big decision to make so it was stressing me out I was lying down in bed while Jaden and Rudy played together Rudy fed Jaden dinner and he actually cooked dinner and dinner was delicious oh my goodness it was smoked trout tartines I think that's how it's pronounced but the weird thing is that Blue Apron was just gonna make us eat the trout raw like they didn't give us any instructions on how to smoke it I don't know what smoking means even <laughs> but I said Rudy just put it in the toaster oven and cook it because obviously we're not gonna eat raw fish that's weird but the way that Rudy prepared it it was so delicious it was absolutely divine but I was so hungry afterwards like I was like Rudy I'm starving I took the last two bites and my stomach growled like it was a, an, a, um, an amazing dinner but it was just not feeling so um, I actually I don't know I drank some juice I think I I don't know what did I do edit I think I edited videos and we watched TV we watched Netflix I ate like 
a whole bunch of ice cream <laughs> and I actually uh, crocheted and stuff so oh yeah that's what I did that's what I didn't show you guys so let me show you that now <laughs> yeah I have to show you what I did this is a very awkward angle but I've been having a very productive week so far I'm so proud of myself and I'm about to show you why remember the baby blanket I've been slaving over I finished that joint I'm so excited I finished it like two nights ago Ta-da! look how big it is yay it is 30 by 50 inches and I actually had to increase the price because like it just takes so long and it's a lot of work and it kind of messed up my wrists a little bit not that I regret making it because it's it's a customer's order but you know it's a lot of work and if I'm gonna get more orders then I gotta make sure that I'm being compensated for my time and the yarn used so I'm very proud of that blanket it's the second blanket I've ever made in my life <laughs> and it's the biggest blanket I've ever made I also did this hat last night took me one day to make it it's a slouchy hat it's really cute I love it um, it's missing the pom-pom I'll do the pom-pom today but the same person who ordered the blanket is the one who ordered this hat and she's she also ordered two baby doll dresses and overalls so I've been working on the overalls this is what I have so far I have like what what is this like three quarters of the pants done and then I have to do the top part of the overalls and then I'm done so this should be done today and I'm really excited about that someone asked me about leg warmers I have to figure out how to put up a listing for that because I don't have a photo so I'm gonna have to update my website and stuff so after I'm done with this order then I have one more order to complete and ship off and then I have to do the hat and scarf set for the boy that my mother looks after and that's it so um, you know that's my update of my life as you guys can see I'm kind of caught up with the vlogs but I must warn you all the vlogs that you're gonna see for like the next few days are gonna be short so for those of you who do get upset that the vlogs are short I'm sorry but I just <laughs> I'm nine months pregnant. Well, I'm about to be nine months pregnant next week. And there's not much to vlog. I sleep a lot. <laughs> I sleep a whole lot, okay? It's either I'm sleeping or I'm relaxing. So there's not a lot to vlog, and I apologize for that. But I hope that you guys still like the videos anyway. Give it a thumbs up if you like this one. Subscribe to us if you still haven't. And we'll talk to you next time. Okay, bye! This is their story